When preparing, loading, and running an agaros gel, wear gloves when handling and loading the gel. The example gel shown consists of a tray, two black side pieces that act like walls, and a comb that forms the sample wells in the gel. Remove the black side pieces of the side tray. Then remove the comb by pulling it straight out of the gel. Be careful not to damage the gel while doing this. Place the gel in the electrophoresis apparatus. This apparatus has notches that correspond to tabs in the gel tray that fits two gels at the same time. The wells of each gel will be closer to the cathode, or the negatively charged part of the apparatus, colored black, than to the anode, or positively charged part of the apparatus. Fill the apparatus with running buffer until the gels are completely submerged. The buffer contains salts that will eventually distribute the voltage over the entire gel. You are now ready to load samples into the wells. To load a sample, adjust a micro pipetter to the correct volume and add a clean tip. Then draw up the sample into the tip. The sample should fill the end of the tip without air bubbles or space. If there is an air space, push the sample all the way to the end of the tip before loading the gel. Standing above the gel, locate the well that you will load. Position the tip so that it is below the surface of the running buffer and above the well. For the best results, do not insert the tip far enough to touch or puncture the bottom of the well. Expel the sample in a fluid motion and push the plunger only to the first stop. Keeping the plunger depressed, remove the tip from the running buffer. Again, pipetting out your sample too quickly may cause air bubbles or cause the sample to flow out of the well. Repeat this process to load the rest of your DNA samples. To run the gel, place the cover on the electrophoresis apparatus matching the colors of the anode and cathode. Plug the lead into the power supply and check your setup with your instructor. Then press the running man to start the gel. If the gel is running properly, then you should see small bubbles streaming up at both ends on both sides of the electrophoresis apparatus. Use the pausing man button to temporarily pause the run. Do not do this if another group is sharing the same power supply and starts their apparatus at a later time. To resume the run, press the running man. At the end of your run, press the stop button to stop the gel. Then turn off the power and remove the cover to disassemble the apparatus.